Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Josh from the BitBlock here, and today I am going to do something a little bit different. We're gonna have a bit of fun, and I am going to pretend that I am the creative director on an upcoming Nintendo mobile game. Uh, we're gonna talk about Mario Kart Tour here today. Uh, some of you are probably very familiar with it. Nintendo announced Mario Kart Tour, the very first mobile Mario Kart game ever. Uh, they announced that some time ago, and then as of the last couple days, they did give us an update on it and told us that it is delayed, and uh, I guess the reason they said it's delayed is because they're going to work on it a bit more and kind of fine tune it and polish it up, and it sounds like that will be arriving in the summer. Now, um, before we get started, there are some important things that I need to point out. For example, here's a, here's a picture of a Koopa Troopa with those Apple AirPod Bud things in, uh, and he's dancing around. Looks nice and uh, very peaceful and happy-go-lucky, right? Wrong, because he's about to get hit by a train because he can't see it coming or hear it coming, because he's too involved with the music. Also, here's a quick photo I did of Tom Nook. Tom Nook is my lord and savior. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that, Tom Nook. Um, but yeah, I just... <sighs> the blood of Christ is now flowing within my veins. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Also, by the way, before we get started, I do need to point this out. Some of you are probably looking at me and thinking, did Josh just get back from his day job of being an extra in the upcoming Jurassic World film? No! I've decided to be a complete degenerate and purchase clothing that has already been ripped up for me. Saves me the trouble of having to do it myself. I kind of like this, though. It's sort of like, ladies, you look at me and you think, oh, I bet he's real pampered and wimpy. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Are those battle wounds on his clothing? Ooh, I do declare we want to date him. That's at least the way that I fantasize about it, but I don't think that's the truth. Anyways, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, first up, now remember, this is me. I get to pretend that I'm the creative director. All right, Mr. Thomas, what do you got? Thanks, glad you asked. First up, Mario Kart Tour will be a totally free game to play. You never have to spend a dime on this game. Totally free to play, and you can race for hours, weeks, months, whatever. Totally free game to play. No charge. Download that sucker and get playing. Now, every player is going to race as a different colored toad. Hold on, I know what you're thinking. Good lord, has Josh been talking to Mr. Miyamoto too much? No, no, no. Hear me out. If you pay nothing, you race as a different colored toad. Green, blue, yellow, orange, pink, purple, you name it. Those will be kind of the toads, the basic racers. If you spend in-game coins in the Goomba Garage, that's right, there's a Goomba Garage, you will unlock new characters, cart parts, and more. So if you want to play as Mario, or hey, Luigi, or Wario, or well, Luigi, or Baby Mario, or Baby Luigi, hoo-hoo, or, or a Toad, then you buy them separate. I just gave myself a migraine. How does Charles Martinet do it and still smile every day? I don't know. Is he human? No, he's a god. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to play as those characters, you buy them with the coins that you collect in the game. So there's a little bit of grinding, but it's a mobile game. Everybody's come to expect that. Um, so yeah, that's how you get characters and new cart parts. We're going to continue the cart part thing because that'll be a good way to get people to unlock stuff and whatnot and buy stuff. You can spend real money to buy more coins in the game. Pretty standard procedure for most mobile games, okay? Each race can net you five normal gold coins. So while you're racing around in the track, there are five gold coins that you can run into and collect. Those obviously go towards unlocking new things. Now, they will change their locations after every race. So let's say you play in a track and you got all five of the coins. If you play again in a few days, they won't be in exactly the same locations. You can get them again and again, and that's a good idea, I think, because it kind of mixes it up and it keeps you always wanting more, and it, it kind of keeps you on your toes to where you constantly have to be paying attention and you're not just getting them in the same location every time, okay? There's a new thing called a rainbow coin, and it's hidden in every track, and it's usually hidden away by like a shortcut, so it's a little bit challenging to get. What the heck is a rainbow coin, you might ask? The rainbow coin is worth five additional coins to your bank. So you'll have a little bank that you collect the coins in, and it'll be like a visual thing, so it's nice and cute. Uh, so that means if you get the rainbow coin and also the five coins, you're getting 10 coins per race. But again, the rainbow coin's a little bit harder to get. Now get this. If you get the rainbow coin, 
there's a little bit of a but there. You know me, I like butts. The but is that you need to finish in first place to actually collect it. So let's say you're racing around, you see the rainbow coin, you blast off of the ramp just right, and then you grab it. Still got to finish first place to earn it. I think that's a good idea because it will make people want to play it again and again. Sure, you'll be a little disappointed if you didn't get first, but that's just going to make you want to keep playing, and that's what we want. <laughs> Money. <laughs> okay, listen. <clears throat> Characters would cost about 800 to 1,000 coins. Cart parts are about half of that. So again, that's quite a bit. Like I said, you can earn 10 per race, right? So it's going to be a little grindy to get those. <clears throat> and like I said, sometimes you might not even get that rainbow coin because you got to finish first. So they're about 800 to 1,000 coins to get a character, uh, about half that for a cart part. New characters and parts will cycle out every day or week. I haven't decided. I'm not really making the game, so I don't have to put that much research into it. But it would be new every day or every week. There would be new characters available. There would probably be like one or two characters and one or two cart parts a day or a week, I think. I wouldn't put a lot of them in there at once because, again, we want people to come back again and again to uh, to see everything. And these would be in the special Goomba garage. There'd be a neat little Goomba garage you go into to buy stuff and, and whatnot. Um, there will be, this is an idea that I think would be cool. They could add new, so you start with the basic items, the green shells, the red shells, triple versions of those. You get the mushroom boost, triple mushroom boost. You have the, the lightning bolt. You have, you know, the, the spiny blue shell and whatnot. Banana peels, the typical Mario Kart stuff with maybe like, maybe one or two wacky items outside of those, but it's going to be pretty standard at first. Then, as the months go by, in order to keep people interested, one of the things we can add to the game are new items. So maybe it's October, and we add in some, you know, I don't know, some bat or some item, like a swooper that can do something. So we can make new items based on the seasons or whatnot, and that'll keep people interested and keep them playing, and that'll also keep our games in the headlines on all those gaming website blogs or vlogs or whatever, and we can tweet about it. Look at the new item that's coming. Here's a tweet. So that's one of the ways that I would keep people interested. There'd be new items, a little basic at first, but we'd add new items. And we could even maybe take them away after a certain amount of time to keep people always guessing and interested and whatnot. And then we can bring them back and blah, blah, blah. So here's the way I would actually put the game together. That's all the stuff right there. But this is the structure. It's a little different. Follow me on this because you might instantly not like this. Every week, one cup will be playable. And unlike the traditional Mario Kart games, one cup is going to be five courses, okay? So there will be five available courses to play uh, locally or online with people. I know that's not as much as a typical Mario Kart game, but this is a free-to-play online uh, game on mobile. Or I shouldn't say online, free-to-play mobile game. So one cup will be the focus of every week, and there will be five courses in it. Now here's the deal. The courses can change. So for example... Uh, you could have Moo Moo Meadows in the, cor in the cup one day or one week, and then it could come back in a totally different setup. So the five courses are totally randomized is what I'm trying to say. It's not like a typical Mario Kart game where it's like, here's the Mushroom Cup. It has Luigi Circuit and da 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 This is going to be totally random. The cup is not. It's like different. So we'll have like, here's the October Cup. Here's the June Cup. And there'll be five randomized courses in it. Now, the courses can be totally new designs that we've never seen before in the Mario Kart history, but just to keep things a little bit easier for the development team, we can also port over retro tracks like Nintendo's done in the past, and I would say that the 3DS, the tracks that were built for the 3DS could probably be converted pretty easily to being played on mobile, is my assumption. Maybe even Mario Kart Wii could be easily converted to playing on mobile. So there will be retro tracks added in. Now, the idea here is to obviously keep people coming back constantly to see what new content is being added. So, you know, what tracks are going to be in the cup this week and, you know, so on and so forth. Will it be a new one that we've never seen? Will we have some cool retro ones coming back? So that's the way it's formatted. You have a cup every week. The cup consists of five randomized courses, and those are the ones that you play online. Now, naturally, uh, you're also going to be collecting the coins to unlock stuff, but you're going to have a driver's license, sort of a profile data, you know, of all your wins and, you know, what course you win the most at. Come up with some fun statistics people would like to share with their friends. Speaking of, in addition to just playing the cup, you'll also be able to do some time trials. But more interestingly, I think, there's going to be a monthly challenge mission. It's going to be featured every month, a new challenge. They're going to take advantage of courses that are already like in the mobile app. 
And the cool thing about this would be they're very similar to Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. Um, you know, collect all 50 coins in this track in and see how fast you can do it. Uh, knock out all the Goombas with a mushroom boost or a shell or whatever. Just, you know, come up with fun little missions that you can do. There will be one of them a month. And the idea is that you keep playing it again and again to try and best your high score or your friend's high score. So this would be a mode that's very much designed to kind of throw your results in your friend's face and get them to accept a challenge to take on your high scores. There'd be a lot of comparing your friend's high scores in that mission mode. So that is my... That is my proposal for what Mario Kart on a free-to-play mobile device could be. That is Mario Kart Tour if I were making it. Just to recap, totally free-to-play. Everybody plays default as a colored toad. That makes you want to spend a little bit of money to get a character, and different characters will be cycled out all the time. Uh, but again, you don't have to spend any money on it, but will make the game addictive to where you will just naturally want to. Uh, there's a new rainbow coin to collect, and it's fun because you have to get first place to get it, and you can collect five coins that are always cycling around in the courses. Um, and then, you know, we got the mission mode, and then you got the cool little Goomba garage where you can spend your loot and whatnot. So I think that would be a good way to bring Mario Kart to mobile. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Love you guys. I will talk to you again very soon. Ba 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 